Snass Junk. It seems like over the past 10 or 15 years or so, if you go to a used game store and you wander over to the Super Nintendo cartridges, you're guaranteed to see like 8 or 9 copies of certain games. You got your Super Caesars Palace, your Faceball 2000, your crappy licensed sports games like Troy Aikman Football, but you also have this game called Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge? This game seems to pop up everywhere, and it's always cheap, so what's the deal? Well, the deal is that this game, for all intents and purposes, is Battle Clash 2. It's made by the same development team, Intelligent Systems, and it's got the same structure, which means the game is one big boss run, and just like Battle Clash, it's only compatible with the Super Scope. It does not work with the controller, well, for the most part anyway, I'll get into that later, and it also does not work with the Super Nintendo mouse. But it would also explain why, when Nintendo published this, they opted against calling it Battle Clash 2 since that game was not that much of a hit, and they opted instead to press the old reset button and try again with a different title. And yeah, that didn't really work out either. The thing is though is that this game is pretty dang awesome for what it is, and it's easily the best Super Scope game out there. Thanks again to Andrew Garcia for helping me out with the footage here. Metal Combat was released a year after Battle Clash, but the story takes place three years later, and Roland Jerkanowitz, I mean Mike Anderson, is back, and the guy that killed his father is also back, and the exact same gameplay is back. But not only that, there's another character you can choose from, and it's... Carol Eugene? Really? Of all the names, you pick a name that sounds like my mother's aunt that she's ignored for 30 years? What was your second choice? Dorothy Gladys? Well, anyway, I'll get to that whole situation in a bit. The gameplay is the same thing as you would expect. You point the big plastic bazooka at the screen and you shoot at stuff. One weapon does big time damage at your target. One weapon defends against incoming stuff at your mech. But in Metal Combat, there's multiple charge shots here, along with a bunch of other extra power-ups, including a lightning bomb and a plasma bomb, among other things. You have at least 10 different bosses you have to defeat this time, with each having a different weakness that you need to find, same as the last game. Only this time, the graphics are way better than they have any right to be. Seriously, did the folks at Intelligent Systems realize they were making a Super Scout game that wouldn't go anywhere? I mean, it looks like you're fighting the bosses straight out of Final Fantasy VI. The visuals here are absolute top notch. Just based on this alone, this game is way, way better than you would think it would be. And it's worth checking out based on that alone. The details in the enemy design allow you to target weaknesses that much more closely, which is a massive improvement on its predecessor Battle Clash. Plus, I mean, just look how freaking cool this thing looks. You'd think this thing was a final boss in Final Fantasy Shadow Legends vs. SNK with Knuckles Mobile Edition or something like that, but it's this game of all things. It looks amazing. Visuals aren't the only reason this game stands out from its predecessor. Metal Combat also has a couple more game modes. There's a training mode here, plus time trials, and a combat mode, which is two-player versus, which utilizes the controller for the second player. All right, finally, something without the god dang super scope. But there's more. If you enter B-A-B-Y, real clever, on the controller, when the title screen just says Metal Combat, you can unlock another mech to use called Tornado, controlled by Carol Eugene. It's a bit weaker, but it charges its secondary weapon more frequently, so at least it offers a different approach to the other mech. So yeah, this is a big time improvement over Battle Clash, and why wouldn't it be? It's a sequel, even if the title didn't say so much. But Metal Combat Falcon's Revenge is the absolute best game of its kind. It's the best Super Scope game out of uh, a whopping 12 games compatible with the Super Scope. Uh, congratulations. I guess that's kind of like being the sharpest knife in the crayon box. But yeah, to tell you how much effort Intelligent Systems put into this game, they even offered two different endings, one good and one bad, depending on if you managed to kill a certain character at the end. I like that, and hey, if you have a super scope, you'll like this game. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.